Livecaster is an application where it will allow one to broadcast a live streaming on both Facebook and YouTube. And the good thing about this is that you can even stream a pre-recorded video and schedule it to post for later. So there is no hassle to go in front of the computer all the time. So we are now looking at the Livecaster dashboard. Now, if you are using this for the first time, after installation, it will ask for your license key. Also, the system will ask for your name and email address. Just fill it out, and after this, you will receive an email verification. Just click on the provided link, and you will be directed to a page where it will confirm if the product activation was successful. Now, go back to Livecaster application, and there you can start using it. Now, as you can see on the left-hand side of the screen, you have all the different segments and functionality. We will go through that one by one later. Now, let's focus on adding your social media account to your Livecaster application. Make sure you are logged into both your Facebook and YouTube account. Click Social Accounts. And here you can add Facebook profile, group or page, or YouTube channel. Click Add. It will then ask for name, stream URL, and stream key. Go to your Facebook window where you are logged in. Now to add a Facebook profile while on your Facebook homepage, click on Live Video. Then here, click Connect. After this, make sure to put a check mark on Use a Persistent Stream Key. Now, as you can see, we have the URL and key we need for our live caster. Just copy and paste it to the application, then provide your preferred name for this. So, let's go ahead and try it out. Then, for the stream key, and then let's provide a name for it. Then click Add. As you can see, we have successfully added an account. Now, if you want to add a Facebook page, you can do so by following the same steps. Just click on Add. Then go to your Facebook page. And once you're there, just uh, scroll down a little. And then click Live Video. Again, go to Connect. And same thing. Just copy and paste the stream URL and key. Provide a name, then click on Add. Okay, so all you have to do is to copy this. Go to your Livecaster application. Then paste it here. Then uh, do the same for the stream key. And then provide a name. Then click Add. You may also erase a particular account. Just simply choose an account you want to delete and then click on the delete button on the bottom part of the page. Now please take note that Facebook does have same stream key for profile and group page. Now if you have a streaming key entered for profile and group, just open Go Live tab and there is an option for where you want to stream. You can stream it to anywhere where you are allowed and have access or permission. Just choose it and you can go live. You don't need to enter the stream key for every specific group, page, or profile anymore. If you have a YouTube channel you want to add, just go to YouTube where you are currently logged in. And then click your profile and then go to my channel. After this, click on Creator Studio. Then on the left, click Live Streaming. Now to connect your YouTube to your or YouTube channel to your Livecaster application, just click on Get Started. Just enter um, your information. So country is let's say Philippines, and then ask for a verification code. Provide your phone number. Then click on Submit. It will then provide you or uh, send you a, an SMS message of the verification code which you can just enter on uh, the space provided or the blank provided. Normally YouTube will ask for a 24-hour time before you can use it. 
Now we are back to our Livecaster dashboard. Um, let's try to use this application. First is to add a video you want to um, stream. So just click on add video. And then here you can choose from or you can choose a, a video file from your computer and then click uh, open. Okay, now it will prompt um, for you to add a title, which we will be filling out, um, a short description of the video. So let's say comfort food, and then tags, um, maybe food, or anything you would like to add that it's actually related to the video that you will be um, streaming after this just click save now if you want this particular video to appear on your social media platform the one that you have linked with uh, our live caster application there are actually two ways to do so you can either click on go live where you can uh, automatically stream it on your either your Facebook page, your Facebook profile, or your group, or even your YouTube channel. Or you can just schedule it uh, to appear or to post for later. Just click on schedule. And here you'll be able to adjust the settings depending on your preference of when you would like this post to appear on your timeline. So here you can select the date of when you would like it to appear. So let's say I'd like uh, to choose uh, July 20th time zone as well you can just click on the drop down arrow and uh, the start time of when you would like this to appear so let's say I'd like uh, to set it to appear starting 3 a.m. on the 20th of July then uh, for select account uh, click on RTMP streaming and uh, on the next uh, tab post page group account uh, just click on the drop down arrow and select the one you would like to use uh, for this uh, particular video to appear now uh, as you can see on uh, right uh, beside the date uh, tab you will have a mini tick box that says repeat now once you click on that uh, it will give you an option to actually set up uh, uh, time interval for this uh, video to appear so if you want to set it um, to appear every two hours six hours that depends on your preference now uh, let's say you are having um, a three-day sale and you would like to have a, an ad advertisement video you can just go ahead and click on uh, the tick box here on and here you can add a time and date of when you would like this video to appear so let's say we started at uh, July 20th and I'd like to have it again on my timeline uh, on the 21st of July at around 3 a.m. so all you have to do is to set it up here and click on add and then as you can see uh, we have set another one. This video will repeat uh, streaming on the 21st of July at 3 a.m. Now you can add again. If, if you are having a three-day promotional sale and then click on there you can see. So this video will appear on our Facebook page group or profile or YouTube channel on the starting on the 20th of July and again on the 21st and then on the 22nd and then after completing this form just click on schedule and here you can see that there is a notification uh, saying that we have successfully saved this schedule so just click on OK now, uh, if you want this particular video to immediately post on your social media platform uh, to either your Facebook page, Facebook group, or even your YouTube channel, you can do so simply by clicking on Go Live. 
And the good thing about the Livecaster is that you can simultaneously have a live broadcast to both your Facebook and your um, YouTube channel. Uh, all you have to do is to set it, um, I mean, set the video or schedule the video to um, appear on either of the, the social media platform, um, depending on your preferred uh, scheduled time and date. Now, first thing that you have to do prior to clicking on Go Live is to go to your Facebook um, page and here uh, click on Live Video and then after that, choose Connect. Now, go back to your Livecaster and then click on Go Live. Here, there will be a drop-down arrow where you can select um, which would uh, which platform would you like the streaming to show so let's choose one and then click on go live now let's go to the scheduled uh, tab as you can see here there are two entries the other one is the scheduled post uh, or the scheduled uh, date that we have set a while ago and the other one is uh, for go live now go back to your Facebook page. Now on your Facebook page, it will actually provide you a preview and you can also um, add in comments or uh, choose where you want this post to um, be to have that live broadcast. Now um, after filling this out, if, if you prefer to, just click on go live. And here you'll be able to see that the video is currently um, streaming on your uh, Facebook page. Now if you want to end this one, just click on end live video. Then click it again. Then if you want uh, your audience to have the capability to replay this video, you can just click on done or delete the video. Now, after ending the live broadcast from Facebook, as you can see on the Finish tab, we have uh, a new entry. This is the particular video that we have just finished streaming on our Facebook page. You can uh, keep track of the previous videos you have uh, broadcasted or you have streamed on either your Facebook or your um, YouTube channel. Now, let's go to the Settings tab. On the settings tab, you can adjust the frame rate, the bit rate, default time zone, and enter the site URL. Um, on the tools tab, here you can have or get a particular video from YouTube. Just uh, copy and paste uh, the video URL and then select a video format and then click on download. You can also adjust the audio of the video by Clicking, clicking on add video here and it will let you choose what uh, particular video you would like to um, say edit. See, it automatically cleaned the audio of it. You can just save it after that. And here for the pre-recorded video, you can add text uh, you can adjust the font size, the color, and uh, the, the, the font, the, the font type. After that, just click on save. Now for the log report, um, here you'll be able to see um, the account that was previ previously used um, by La Livecaster. And uh, you'll see the login date. Or the time when you uh, utilize that particular account and uh, you also have you will have the results um, the blue check mark that is good and the X mark the red X mark that means that there is an error so uh, it will also give you the reason uh, for for the error so it says live streaming not completed due to user stop live streaming so it will provide you the details on what's uh, what happened on that particular uh, error now for the help option it will provide you the 
website for Technic Force uh, support uh, where you can create a ticket um, to reach out to our technical support representative to be able to assist you in utilizing this uh, application and uh, we also have the training videos the link direct link for the training videos in YouTube you can watch that uh, as your guide on how to use this livecaster application and then of course uh, exit if you want to um, log out from from using or you're done using the livecaster so that's about it thank you for watching our video i uh, hope you learned something till our next video bye